The toolbar, as we have seen previously, is located at the top of Mod Organizer. Instance selection allows you to switch between established instances and to create new ones. Archive installation is used to install mods from archives. Nexus Network brings you to Nexus for whichever game MO is currently managing. Configure Profiles opens the Profiles window, allowing you to edit profiles and add new ones. Modify Executables allows you to add and manage third-party applications run through MO. Tools opens the any file editor location, allowing you to edit any files. Settings allows us to adjust practically everything that Mod Organizer 2 offers. Warnings. The yield icon informs us of potential issues within our load orders. A grayed out icon indicates that there are no known issues within your setup. A colored icon indicates potential issues. The number within the icon indicates how many issues you may have. Selecting the warning opens a window listing the potential issues. And just because something is listed, it is not necessarily an issue. And the update tab informs the user if an official MO update is available. The left pane header is what I call the bar of options directly above the left pane. Profile allows you to manage and or quickly switch between profiles. Open list options provides the same features as the all mods option does from the left pane context menu as covered in the previous videos. Open folders menu allows you to quickly open the locations of the directories that we established during installation and setup. Restore backup allows you to restore left and right pane load order backups that you have personally created. Create Backup generates a backup of your left and right pane load order and their activation state. The file is titled after the current date and time. There are three types of shortcuts that Model Organizer allows us to create. Select an app from the Run drop-down menu and expand the shortcut drop-down next to it. Toolbar Shortcuts adds an icon of the selected app to the toolbar, allowing you to launch it without needing to select Run. Right-click the icon to remove it. Desktop Shortcuts adds a shortcut of the selected app to the desktop, allowing you to launch it without MO even being open. Start Menu Shortcuts adds a shortcut to the Start Menu. Mod Organizer offers a few ways to customize its appearance. Open the Settings window and stay in the General tab. Language allows you to select from the different language options of which Mod Organizer can be translated to. Style gives you a few options to choose from as to how you would like the interface to appear. Compact Download Interface, if activated, shrinks the Mod Archive viewing items in the Downloads tab so that you can see more of them on screen at once. This has been a Gamer Poets tutorial, Mod Organizer 2, Toolbar, and Customization. I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you for your time, your support, and thank you for watching.